Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 20 of Let's Play a Super Mario World Central Production. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, this is going to be Lulu Boo's Mansion. The level I'm going to do before the 7th castle. So let's see what we got to deal with. Oh, is it somebody's birthday? Either that or somebody has a balloon fetish. I don't know. Either way, I don't want to find out. Because I... I already don't like being here because of all the booze. Sparky's around the candles. And, uh, why does that, uh, big boo have, like, some kind of black wart on his forehead? Or between the, between the eyes? Donut Boo Boss. Don't hurt me! I'm just here for the debutante or debutante ball. Tick tock, watch the clock. Lulu Boo won't be happy you're here. You think I care about Lulu Boo's feelings? I sure as hell don't. Oh god! Dry bass? Is that what this is called? Is that a boss bass? It's dry bass? And of course the gimmick is the same. If this fish eats you, you die. Instantly. I don't know how you would dissolve in its stomach if it doesn't have one anymore. I mean, it has no more flesh. What the hell? How's it going to digest me? I mean, even if it eats me, can't I just come from behind the rib cage Or the spinal cord? Seriously? Couldn't get that worked out, Mario? Come on now. Now I gotta wait for the pipe to go back up. And sadly, watch. Oh, wait, I can't really show you. Yep, you can't kill it with fire. In other words, you have to dodge it the whole time. Have fun. Well, we made it out alive, which I'm happy about. Dodge these boos, because they'd be a pain in the ass, and had no time to react to that, sadly. But at least this part is not too bad, because they don't hurt you until they fully form. Which gives you a little bit of time to escape. But you gotta be patient sometimes. When you think it's too tight to squeeze, don't bother. Unless it comes to dating, I mean, the tighter they are, well, the greater the adventure. You know, by that I mean how they manage your budget. You know exactly what I mean. I think. But in any case, to avoid an awkward tangent, why don't we just go to the right? Which is our next destination. Don't get nervous, this place doesn't have a secret exit. In fact, you need the key for this door. Wait! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you have to do this on the left side, because if you do it on the right side, the door will absorb the key, but it won't unlock it! Strange, I know, but that's sadly how it works. Now that I got this switch activated, I can go in this direction. I still gotta do something about a clock. That's what that message said. Something about a clock, and we pass by one, but we can't do anything with it. I'm probably gonna need a P-switch by going back through this door, now that the switch is activated. It said watch the clock, which I did, nothing happened. But for now, let's just go through this door. Now we can do it a different way. This may seem easy, but you gotta watch out for some of the platforms. They can either crush you, or send you up into the spikes. But at least you won't have to worry about dry bass anymore. For some reason your fireballs actually pass through the blocks. But you can't. Oh god. So you're a Lulu Boo. Hold it, sugars! Y'all are wrecking my party in my house! Y'all think you can clean my clock? Y'all best think twice now! She said it all in caps, which must mean a hint. Again, with the clock. Ah, oh, that was bad. But yeah, sadly, Lulu Boo is a fishin' boo. Just as annoying. In fact, it's nothing more than a regular fishin' boo, only with a feminine sprite. A scary feminine sprite. But there is the P-Switch in the last horse coin, but more importantly, the P-Switch. So what do we need it for? Wait, when we went back to the clock, there was actually a little door-shaped gap. 
I didn't bring it up, but I'm only bringing it up now. So there. Now we gotta take on Lulu Boo. You know, I'm living the American dream, killing a fish and boo. I mean, what other Mario? And trust me, a lot of Mario fans have always wanted to kill a fish and boo, and I'm got encased by the the box. All that remains is my hat. Mario is now a box. It's like that episode of The Simpsons all over again, where Homer thought Bart was a box by putting his cap on a box, when all along he was uh, doing something with Krusty. Good old Simpsons. You know, I guess I can just go ahead and do the castle now. Wild Wet Castle. That sounds very erotic. But sadly, this level is anything but erotic. Maybe neurotic when it comes to the Panzers, the Cheap Sheeps, the Yoshi's Island Cheap Sheeps, which lunge up to bite you. Which I had no preparation for, by the way. And Bowser Fire! <laughs> it feels like I want to be the Mario now. I don't think a fan game like that exists, does it? I want to be the Mario? I wouldn't be surprised if there is. Maybe we just don't know about it yet. Okay, so this is a little Yoshi's Island gimmick. Like those green blocks whenever you hit something against it, like in Yoshi's Island it was an egg. But we can't use eggs here, we can only just find them, because apparently they're the, uh, the main objective for Mario and Luigi, to find eggs. But if you throw something against those green blocks, they disappear. But you might find different colored blocks. Like yellow ones will take two hits and red ones would take three hits. And every time you hit them, they would change color. Ooh, I would love to get a cape right about now. Maybe I should go get it. It'll make the level hella easy. Oh, that was awful. Oh, I get it, and I lose it right away. You know, I guess I could just do this. That way I kill the panzer before it becomes a nuisance. <sighs> Damn it. Just go. Now, this is not necessary, but... Anything to give me a little bit of an edge, I will definitely take. With open arms. Now, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a lot of jumping to get around, because something tells- Oh, there's munchers. I was gonna say there'd be like a bottomless pit, but apparently I just found something much worse. A pit of panzers. No, wait, no, no, not Panzers. Munchers! Panzers would be awful, too, because, I mean, that'd be a lot of sprites. And a lot of fire. In fact, I think that would just break the hack entirely. You would have slowdown like molasses. Frozen molasses. Oh, come on, Mario. Did you really get hit there? What are those slides from Yoshi's Island doing? They look pretty easy to kill. Can they hurt me? Yes, they can. But at least they're easy to kill. What's the point of the Bronze Swamp? Oh, Earthquake. It can actually stop me in my tracks. Great. Alright, let's do this. I'm only doing this for a Mushroom, which would be good for a Reserve. That's it. Just as long as I don't lose it right away, which thankfully I didn't. But there's still a chance for me to botch this. Just give it time, see? I told ya! Nostradamus right here! Apparently if I predict the apocalypse, it's gonna come true! <laughs> Damn it, Mario. 
Huh. Apparently that was the checkpoint. But I didn't even see any tape. Oh, it just fell before I even got there. Okay, this is a serious Yoshi's Island theme. It no, it no longer feels like a water castle. Just more like a castle for Yoshi's Island, that's it. They should just call it Yoshi's Island Villa or something. Oh, come on! I practically had no chance there. Okay, I'm going to need some kind of switch. How am I going to make this work? Maybe I don't really need one? Uh, let's see. Let's take one... <coughs> Excuse me. I said, let's take one, just in case. I have a feeling it might be important. But for now, let's just get this activated. Is it gonna do anything special? Right now, I can't notice. But who knows? We we just might. Sorry, Koopa, but you weren't needed. Shell was though. Your sweet, sweet shell. Careful. I still don't see where the switch was needed. Oh man, there's a lot of sprites. Is this gonna help me? Oh dear God. That was a reset <sighs> pipe. Failed to see where the switch was necessary still. Just give me a sign that I did the right thing or not. Oh, I might need a regular P switch here. Stupid shy guy. Um, is this the right idea to go? Yep, seems that way. At least I'm in a different spot. Aha! Now I see what needs to be done. And I get a free mushroom out of that as well. You know, just in time for me to lose it! <laughs> Man, I got very good foresight. It's kind of scary now. <laughs> it's like I predicted myself losing my mushroom right there, and I did just that. Oh god, now I need a trampoline? What? I didn't see anywhere else I ne needed to go up. It couldn't have been for that switch because I activated it. Unless... No, no, that's not gonna be it. Okay, that was just BS right there. Do I bring it back here? I don't know. So I hit a ceiling when I was on the left side. Maybe there's an opening on the right side? No, there isn't. I fail to see where the switch would be needed, or the trampoline. Damn the phone, time out. Okay, I'm back. I still gotta figure out what needs to be done here. Oh my god, again with the p freaking pincer, ugh. I hate that guy so much. And there was nothing down there. Wait, why the hell was there a pipe going downward? Is this some kind of sick joke? Because it leads to the a pit. Do I use a trampoline here? No? It can't be for the switch because I activated it sooner! And over there on top on top of me is where I found the P switch. I can't get over there, because I'm gonna get hit. Now the thing is off. Why did I make a retarded jump like that? Wait a minute. No. Could it be to get in this pipe? Mario, you made it, and then you botch it. Let's see. 
Was this what I needed to do? Oh my god! Killed by a shy guy! The ultimate step in depravity. Depravity right there. Wait, do I have to kill every single enemy? Because all I'm seeing is enemies. Aha! This better be for more than coins. Because if it isn't, I'm gonna be disappointed. And angry. And tired. Wait, don't tell me. That's exactly what it was. Oh my god. I used the trampoline just for this. What the hell? That, that makes no sense. I might as well just do this for a Okay, I don't understand this. How is it in some instances when you jump on the Shy Guys and clearly connect, do you still die? I really hope I don't have to do all this again for the trampoline because that would just be so annoying. I probably skipped a few steps just by, you know using the shell for the switch. I haven't gone all the way to the left to see what has changed. If anything changed, that is. Who knows, maybe I accomplished absolutely nothing. I could be wrong, though. I failed to see what has resulted from this. Maybe I ended up creating absolutely not. Oh, come on. Maybe nothing good happened out of all this. D I don't really think I needed to get up there. That would make little to no sense. But stranger things have happened, or should I say shittier things have happened. I, I don't know, man. Am I screwing up here? I can actually go back. Oh my god, that's what I needed to do. I was thinking I needed a fire flower to get to the other side of that. Why the hell would you make a puzzle like this? Where you activate a block and all I had to do was just leave. So the P-Switch and the trampoline serve no purpose other than to solve the puzzle if you didn't think to use the trampoline. Or, no, or the, no, I'm sorry, the shell. That was a sick joke. A very sick joke. One in terrible taste. In fact, I'm gonna be tasting that for the rest of my life now. Thanks, game. Thanks, Super Mario World Central. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. Well, good thing they put in like a shell block here. In the event you destroy one by mistake. Which more often than not happens. Seeing as how I got a fire flower. I can't believe that was all I needed to do back there. I could have been, like, over here much, much sooner as a result. But no, I had to let curiosity get to the best of me. And look what happened. Wasted so much time. It, it literally eats at my heart right there. Yeah, it was just tragic. Yeah, it's caused me so much pain worse than Valentine's Day every year. Okay, not really. Valentine's Day doesn't really give me much pain after all. I mean, it's just highly exaggerated. But, you know, at least we're gonna make it. At least I have the solution. 
and not have to worry about looking it up to see what I missed. Let's do it like this. Okay, oh, this panzer's gonna be a problem. I can see it right now. Created a monster! Is there a way for me to even get to that panzer? Oh no! I don't know, man. I don't think I can. Wait. I think I can, but it's going to take a very long approach. Oh! oh screw it. Just take the hit. But don't take two! There, let's just make this a little easier by creating an opening. Come on, get over there, Mario! Thank you. Sometimes having a fire flower has a serious disadvantage. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, I'm just trying to get a shell over there. Okay, I think I actually made it. Just get in there. Oh my god, now this, this is just gonna go on and on. This is the stage that never ends. Okay, I gotta stop singing, otherwise I'm gonna get a message from Sherry Lewis's estate. You know, God rest her soul. Maybe Lamb Chop will pay me a visit. That would be so cool. Depending on what she's going to give me. You know, she's going to give me, like, a rack of lamb. That would be pretty awesome. If it's herpes, then, well, it's not going to be awesome. It's all about context. Anyways, let's take on the boss. Yeah, it's a very giant piranha plant. Okay, I remember when uh, somebody LP'd this game. I think it was Celtics 8402. I might have got the number wrong. If anything, it was probably the second digit. The other ones are all right. I thought I could spin jump on those. He had a very rough time with this boss. I would imagine a lot of people would. And why is that mushroom invisible? Sprite limitations? <sighs> wow. Wow! Get it, Bunk of my gut! This is pissing me off here. I don't know how people manage to handle this! Fine, just take the hit. That's your punishment, Mario. You gotta do this small. All right, now I gotta think about how I'm gonna kill this boss. Come on, give me something I can work with. Anything? Just give me something like, say, a Koopa shell. Because I could use that. Also, you're a plant. How is your body able to store fire? You know what? All I need is a shell, man. That's good enough for me. Yes, that's one hit. Get yourself a grilled cheese sandwich. You know, it's gonna take a while. In fact, get the cheese homemade by milking a cow. Because by the time you get done actually making your own cheese, I'll still be at this boss. Oh god, lots of fire to work with. You know, when I look at the giant fireballs, for some reason... Oh my god. I'm reminded of Adventure On and 3's third boss, which was that big being of fire. Like the fire swirls like that. It was pretty cool to fight a boss like that, of total fire. Annoying if he spawned on ya, though. If you were unprepared. 
Okay, the problem is, like, the low ceiling for these pipes over here. When you gotta make, like, some kind of evasive act in the middle of the area, that can burn ya. Which is very ironic, because I'm facing a piranha plant, which, well, likes to burn ya! Give you fourth degree burns up the ass. That's its plan. Oh, good. Wait, Mighty Mole? One of these things is not like the other. Okay, you're on pipe three. Second hit, good. Goes to show I'm making some progress. Albeit very slowly, it's working. I pray this boss only needs three hits to die. Toot and Koopa required more than three hits. And if this is gonna be a trend, I'm getting worried. At least you got a simplistic pattern going on. Whoa! I don't know if you can spin jump on that fire. To be honest, I don't really want to find out. I don't think you can spin jump on him either. At least I. Yeah, yeah, you can. At least I think that's a him. Can't really tell the gender for this boss. I mean, you could say it's a woman because she's hot headed and stuff. Or maybe it's a guy because he likes spicy food. Men tend to go for spicy food a lot. Especially me. I mean, ask my friends. But in any case, let's just try to get this last hit. Sorry, Cole NL112. No, wait, that's actually my sister. I can't answer that text yet. God, I can't believe I got those numbers mixed up. Come on, I need that last hit. Oh, you can't spin jump on that. Just give me something to work with. You gonna give me something or not? Don't give me three money moles. Oh my god! You ass! You gave me shellless Koopas? That's just like giving me a box of chocolates. Like all cherries inside. Like, I don't mind chocolates with cherries inside, but I prefer like caramels or truffles. Anything of the sort. Especially vanilla flavor. So now I have to sit through all this crap. To wait for another phase. That's the troll engine right there. It's supposed to give me a Koopa shell. Or at least a Koopa with a shell on. That's all I asked for. Not a Koopa with no shell at all. Because that gives me nothing to work with. Absolutely nothing. I thought I could spin jump through that. What a way to troll me right there. I don't mind the patterns of this boss. Well, technically I do. Because they are so ridiculously long. And if he throws in enemies that give you no shells, you have to sit through all the waves of attacks AGAIN! That's the thing I hate about this boss. It requires you to wait. And when it comes to certain bosses, I am not a patient person. THANK YOU! If I- Oh no! Here, I only need like one shell. At least I hope it's just one shell I need. That's it! Oh, thank you. 
It's over with that boss. Bullies Brambles. Okay, I believe that pipe takes me to the final world. But first, I think I would rather go through... Where is it? Not this place. Through here. To Shoreline Woods. We'll do that in the next part, okay? See you later.